Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. It's a, a beautiful book, I guess, uh, that happens whenever a president is out of office. People put the pictures together. But you have a special relationship with many people, specifically on Twitter. People know you not just as Pete Souza, the man who took pictures of Obama, but Pete Souza, the professional troll of Donald Trump. <laughs> is, is this... Is this a badge you wear with pride? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and it's, it's on Instagram more than it is on Twitter. Right, right, right. Yeah. You, you, you're the person who posts these pictures. For those who don't know, Pete, every single time Donald Trump says something about Obama, that's nine times out of ten a lie. You know, it'd be like, Obama never visited the troops. And then you have a picture of Obama hanging out with the troops. <laughs> do, do you have a picture for every single thing that Donald Trump has lied about with Barack Obama? Pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> How much joy do you get when you do it? Uh, I get a lot of joy, actually. <laughs> like, do you giggle? I picture you sitting at home, like, giggling, working on your laptop. Uh, yeah, my, my wife said she didn't know I was that funny, and I said, you just haven't been paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting job that you have. Uh, you know, one, one that I've always been fascinated by, because you, you have access to the president in a unique way. You are in rooms that require the highest level of security clearance. You are privy to conversations that many people are not. Like, is, is there, like, a clearance that you have to go through as a photographer? Uh, sure. I mean, I had a top-secret clearance, just like any of the other national security people. So I would be able to be in those meetings. Wow. So you, you were, like, in top, top, top-secret yes. meetings. Yeah. Did you ever, like, hear something, and then you're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, All the time. <laughs> Yeah, because, I mean, you, you're not working in that job, but you, you're privy to all of this information. Was there ever a moment where someone looked at you and went, hey, Pete, what do you, what do you think? Uh, fortunately, that never happened, because <laughs> right. I, I wouldn't know what to say. Uh, you, you... I knew my job was to be the observer and photograph what was happening. I, I took that part of it very seriously. Right. Uh, and, and I would never get involved in a, in a conversation during a national security meeting, for sure. And you, 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 you really did a good job of being in the background. Sometimes... It, like, in a way that no one would expect. For instance, there's, there's some of the pictures that we're going to show now from the book, really beautiful images. Like, there's this one. It's a really intimate moment. Barack and Michelle in the freight elevator. And what's interesting is all the Secret Service guys look like they're trying to give them their privacy. And then you are there, like, yeah. click, 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 <laughs> click, click, click. <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful, intimate moment, and you're capturing it. Like, uh, was there ever a moment where the president would be like, not now, Pete. Like, this is, this is something I don't want captured at all. No, I mean, I would know... You know, my intuition would tell me right, it was time right. to back off. So right. I, I think I had a pretty good intuition on, you know, when something was so private, I should slowly walk out of the door. Right, and you, you've captured some of the most iconic moments. I mean, there's, there's this image that, like, will live in people's memories forever. It's a little boy. Tell, tell me the story of this picture. So this is Jacob Philadelphia, and he had come into the Oval Office to have a, a, his picture taken with, the, with his family and the president. And... I, wanted to ask the president a question. And you can imagine, being four years old in the Oval Office, asked the president of the United States a question, it was more of a whisper, like, my friends tell me that my haircut is just like yours. And that's when the president bent over and Jacob touched his head. And I think, you know, here's a four-year-old kid touching the head of a president of the United States that looks like him. Right. And I think that's one reason why this picture really resonated with a lot of people. And when, you, when you're taking these pictures, in that moment, do you know how powerful that is? Like, are you able to sense it, or is it something that you, you experience afterwards? Do you, do you go home and look at the picture and go, oh, that was magic? I think each case is different. In this particular case, I didn't realize it until later that night right. when one of the photo editors that worked with me sent me the photo, and I was like, oh, okay, this is pretty special. Right. Um, you also have a picture that went all over the world, this powerful image of the Situation Room, what was going on when this image was taken? So this is during the Bin Laden raid. This is actually in the raid. Everybody's jammed into this one little conference room within the Situation Room, and they're monitoring the raid as it's happening in real time. How do you not look at the screen? <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm... Like, I'm impressed by how professional you are, because this is Bin Laden, Osama Bin Laden. There's a raid happening on his house, and you are taking the picture and on a screen behind you is one of the most historic moments in American history. Is, is there not even the temptation to look? Well, how do you know I didn't look? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Let me, let me ask you this. Looking at uh, Donald Trump now and how different his approach has been to communicating with, the, with regards to how he's reflected in the public and, you know, he, he uh, tweets his own pictures and his images and third-party, uh, you know, memes and, 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 and images of him. W when you look at that, what, what would you say your key job is as the chief White House photographer? Are you documenting what the president has done? Are you creating an image of the president? What, what is your purpose? Uh, uh, my purpose is documenting for history. Right. And I was always looking for authentic pictures, pictures that really captured the mood and the emotion of what was taking place. That's what I tried to do every day. Right. Some days were more important than others, but you always had to be ready. Because, like, just that picture with Jake of Philadelphia, that was just a small event. It wasn't a big event. Right. And sometimes the, the best pictures happen happen during the small events. So it keeps you on your toes. Do you, do you ever have an idea, like, is, is there ever a conflict in, in what you're presenting in the picture? Because on the one hand, you're documenting. On the other hand, you could curate an image of the president. Is sure. that part of the job, or are you just putting out what happened and how? I, again, I, 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 my default was authenticity, trying to really show this is what it was really like. Right. In, in this moment, at this event, um, that's, that's what I was trying to do. Your images have been used uh, extensively on Twitter, specifically with these two characters in mind. <laughs> I would argue you are, like, the number one supplier of the Joe Biden-Obama memes. <laughs> was this relationship as fun as it seemed? It was fun, and it was... And I think it grew in strength. Right. I mean, they were really a team. And, you know, Joe Biden went through some very difficult times during his tenure at the White House with his son and everything yes. like that. And I think he became closer to President Obama through that, through those times. Why does it look like in all your pictures Obama is scolding Joe Biden <laughs> for, like, a, a prank that he was planning to... Like, like, it looks like in the first picture, he's like, oh, man, we should, like, tell Trump that the White House moved. And then look what we're gonna... In the second picture, he's like, look, what we do is we tell him the White House moved somewhere else, and then he can't fight. And Obama's like, uh, look, uh, we can't do it. Uh, <laughs> but it was really funny. Is, <laughs> was he scolding him ever, or was it, was it just how it looked in the pictures? Uh, I, I think this is a case where you've, you've curated the, the, <laughs> the photos to show more than, more than me. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna believe the story that I'm gonna believe, <laughs> Pete, because that's the way I like it. Thank you so much for being on the show, man. <laughs> the pictures are amazing. <laughs> Obama, an intimate portrait, is available now. Pete Souza, everybody.